Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to share shortcuts for working with multiple windows in Split View. So this is great for doing tasks between two Excel files, like copying, pasting, writing formulas, or tying out numbers. We'll also look at examples with other applications like PowerPoint, File Explorer, and even the VB Editor. So most of this video is on tips for Windows, but I do share some Mac equivalents as well. And I'll also explain both mouse and keyboard shortcuts. So let's first look at how to get into Split View in Windows. I'm first going to explain the mouse shortcuts, and then I'll explain the keyboard shortcuts. So to get into Split View, it's very simple here. We just uh, move our mouse cursor to the top of this window, left click and hold, and then we drag it over to the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen. And you want to put your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle of the screen here. So you see that shadow box fill the left side, and then we'll release the left mouse button. And over here on the right side, we get some options of what window we want to put on the right side of the screen. So we can just go ahead and click any of these tiles here. I'll click this one and that will fill the right side of the screen with this window. And of course, both of these windows are fully functional. We can do all kinds of copy and paste or interact with these files. Uh, this just resizes both of those windows and makes it easier. Now, sometimes if you already have split view open and you try and split another window, so for example here, I'll bring up this uh, PowerPoint presentation, and let's say we want to split this as well. I'll drag it over to the left side here. I don't get the options on the right side, and that's because this window over here is already split. So one way to handle this is to just minimize all windows and show the desktop. And a keyboard shortcut for that is Windows key plus D, or if you're a mouse user, you can just move your mouse all the way to the very bottom right corner of the screen over here uh, to the right side of the taskbar and just left click there and that will show the desktop. And then we can do that process again. Uh, we can bring up our uh, window here. We can drag it over to the left side and then we'll get the split view options for the right side of the screen. So maybe we want that one there. We'll just select it and we'll have our split view. So let's now take a look at the keyboard shortcuts for split view. So I'm going to go ahead and show the desktop again. Again, Windows key plus D. And the Windows key is on the left side of the keyboard, uh, left of the spacebar between the Control and Alt keys. And then I'll go ahead and just open another window here. We'll open another Excel file. And in this case, we can use the Windows key plus the left or right arrow keys to enable split view. So I'm going to hold down the Windows key, then press the left arrow on the keyboard, and then release the Windows key. And over here on the right side, again, we'll see all of our window options. And here we can tab through these with the tab key, or we can even use the arrow keys on the keyboard to select the window we want. And then I'll, when you find the one you want, just go ahead and hit enter, or you can use the mouse there. And then that will again, put those windows in split view. Now, once you're in split view, you can adjust the size of the split by hovering the mouse over this uh, vertical area here between the windows. It'll turn into that gray bar. And then when you left click and hold, it turns into a black bar and you can move the split. So if you wanna see more of one window, maybe you wanna see more of the VB editor over here on the right and less of Excel, we can move this over, then just release. And that actually resizes both of those windows at the same time so they don't overlap. We still have the vertical scroll bar here in Excel and we also have everything over here on the right side as well. And I use this exact setup here pretty frequently when I'm writing and debugging macros because it allows me to step through or run the macro. So I'll run this macro over here on the right uh, that creates a table of contents. I can also hit F8 on the keyboard to just step through it line by line. And then I'm able to see what's happening in Excel over here on the left side as the code runs. So it's a great way to just debug your macros, see what's happening, and also learn VBA. So let's quickly look at how to get into split view on the Mac. So we're going to move the mouse cursor over to the full screen button here in this window and left click and hold for about a second. And once we do that, we'll see the windows now hovering and we can drag this either to the left or the right side and we'll see that shading, that blue shading there. 
I'm going to move it over to the left side and release, and then we'll get a preview of all the windows on the right side that we have open that we can put on the right side. So I'll go ahead and select this one here, and that will put this window on the right side. Now we still have the option to resize the split here. We can do that uh, as well, which is great. One important thing to note is to get out of split view, the best way that I found to do this is to jump into mission control. So that's a three finger swipe up on the trackpad, or most Mac keyboards have a dedicated key for that, the F3 key, and that will get us into mission control here. And here is our split view right here. And you can either click this button right here or just drag the window down into this space below, and that will uh, unsplit those windows there and put them back here on our desktop. And then we can just click one of them to get back to it. And of course, there's probably other ways to get out of split view like that. That's just the easiest way that I've found. And one final tip and keyboard shortcut I want to mention for working in split view is alt tab. So alt tab allows us to tab or flip back and forth between the active windows here. So we currently have the window on the right side active over here. Let's say we want to copy this data and paste it over to the window on the left side. I'm going to hit control C to copy. Then I'm going to hold down the alt key and press and release tab. And that will flip the focus over here to the left side. And then I can go ahead and hit control V to paste right there. So Alt Tab is extremely useful. The Mac equivalent is Command Tab. You can also hold down the Alt key and press and release tab to see all of the open windows here on the computer, then continue to press tab uh, to cycle through those, and then release the Alt key uh, when you want to enable or view that window. So I'll probably do a whole nother video on Alt Tab. It's one I use all the time, all day long. Uh, great keyboard shortcut to know, but especially useful when you're using Split View. So I hope those tips help you. Of course, if you have any additional suggestions or questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.